question. What if I could just look at this screen and not look at it in real life? No, it's not. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah, please! <laughs> Brethren and sistren, welcome back to season two of The Dirty Pipes. We are starting off 2022 literally so hot. There's, I think there's only, this is actually the first vehicle of its kind in the state of Utah, and we have it for just a couple hours. Ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing the 2022 Rivian R1T. All right, guys, so to reintroduce ourselves, if you're just joining the channel, my name is Brayden. A lot of people know me by South Valley Photo. We have... Ask Jeeves. A lot of people know me as Jeeves. But we're missing one person. I feel like there's an important pipe we're missing. Yeah, we're missing one Pop guy. a pipe. Pop a pipe. Pop a pipe. Where is he? Let's look. Yeah. We got a lot of places in the Rivian that we're gonna talk about today video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start out from front, move yeah. backwards. Let's see if we can find Todd here. Yeah, so we'll start with the front here. So let's check the front. We, we love the fronks. Oh, oh, love them so much we don't know where they are. Okay. All right, Todd's no, not here. Todd is definitely not there. But that could potentially fit a Todd. It could. I actually think it could. A Todd and a Nate could actually fit back there. Ooh. All right, let's move on. Okay. Let's... Now let's try the battery terminal here. It's a long shot. He could. Yeah, never mind. I mean, probably not. <laughs> it's, it's not realistic. All right, check it inside. Nowhere okay. up front. Nothing here. All right, let's make our way. Let's just pop this. Let's make our way back. Oh! There he is! Wow! <laughs> I feel like I'm being birthed out of a truck. <laughs> now, a unique feature is that can hold 250 pounds. True. And Todd weighs like 80, so this isn't <laughs> a true test, but. I'm a thick 180. <laughs> Todd! What's up, boys? What is up? Hey, welcome back to season two. Season two. It took us pipes. long enough, but we're here. We are here. We're here to stay. And we've got a cool truck. This looks pretty sick, though. Dude. Look at all that storage. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it is features. Yeah. I mean, you, you didn't even make it all the way back to the truck. The Ooh. We didn't even, yeah, we could have gone there first. It's true. That would have been an obvious choice. That would have been. See, we could fit all three of us back there. Fit. Underneath that canopy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Tahoe. impossible. Not <laughs> impossible at all. So we want to talk about some of the exterior features of the Rivian because they are cool and added benefits to electric truck versus a normal gas truck. One of those is this. You get a frunk. Oh. Just got decent storage. Imagine some golf clubs could fit in there. I think two actually could fit in here, two sets of golf clubs. Two sets of clubs. I mean, it is nice because it's like, you don't have a motor here. There's absolutely nothing. So you add quite a bit of storage. I mean, this is like good if you have a family and you want to put a bunch of stuff as far as like bags, you know, Keep any type of, of luggage. luggage. Yeah. yeah. Keep it nice. Um, obviously everything's weathered sealed, but as far as like bigger items, this is not where we're going to store it. But again, usually don't store stuff up there anyway so there you go there we go we're gonna start that off going back in storage this is how you do the slow charge how do you do a fast charge well put in the big boy yeah there are superchargers apparently but there is a charger in the back it's a 220 volt that will do 25 miles per hour on charge the current charging right now is pretty slow. It takes like three days. <laughs> 25 miles an hour? Is 25 it? miles in one hour, it'll charge it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Not a there measurement. Not say, a measurement of speed, but yeah. We gotta break it down. <laughs> right, Absolutely. So we'll talk about interior storage and like capacity and what, you know, what that feels like. But yep. right here is an important one because you've probably never seen this on a truck before. And that is this little storage compartment here. Ooh. This is fantastic. This is the entire width of the truck, which I believe is about eight feet wide. Okay. Eight feet wide, something like that. This holds 250 pounds. So as long as you are a light individual, this will hold you. This will fit you as a good seat. As we saw earlier, Todd can be birthed through a truck. He could be birthed. Also an option with these is you can get a kitchen. Yes. Set that pulls out from it and it has a stove and all that stuff for camping. Which, which I'll be honest, amazing. That is pretty sick because if you think about it, anytime, if anyone's ever gone camping, 
trying to fit a freaking gas stove yeah. and propane mm -hmm. and everything in the bed it takes up a lot of space no it's it's pretty amazing it's a pretty awesome thought they did with it but i mean this is pretty unique again the only thing i don't like about this i will say so far is it's not good if you're trying to compact it with a lot of stuff like you have to get in and reach like if you're trying yeah. to place and organize it's not your spot there's an access in the cab in the middle too but i don't know how much you're really going to access from there it's it's not very big you're probably but like six or seven inches wide i guess you could put a cooler in the middle there yeah and access it from there which would be pretty Ooh, cool that would be pretty sick actually yeah a little road trip nice. keep cool yeah. drink Rather absolutely to to the back window to the, the bed smart that'd be fantastic all right let's go back here let's go back here now yeah. Most beds you have to add a tonneau cover. This is a standard feature with the Rivian. Now it's weird because it is, it's hard mm -hmm. and it's a retractable. Know, like, yeah, it's retractable. Yeah. What would you call this? Like staggered plate, something like that. Sure. Now the nice part is just press button. You can access it here. You can access it inside with the, the computer too. All of the storage options you see can be done exterior and interior, which yeah. is fantastic because if you don't want to get out of the truck, someone needs to access something, hit a button inside on the big, what is that, 15 inch screen? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wide one. Tailgate is also powered. Yep, we got the buttons right there. And it is long, which is nice. So you do add about an extra two feet of additional length in the bed of the truck, which is beneficial because when you look at this, it's a small bed. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, yeah, these, these are beds are like the Tacoma beds, the Gladiator beds. I would say it's small. even shorter because it's like you can't even fit a normal dirt bike back here. Oh, Mo those all those trucks you can't fit. A oh, dirt really? Bike. Yeah. I thought you could fit. <laughs> You'd at have least to get up into the, the half tons. But, but you could fit a dirt bike with this tailgate down, which yes. is cool. So it is good that they did think about that with mm -hmm. this extended uh, bed. But yeah, again, it's not. This is not your solve all truck, but yeah. I feel like for a small family who likes to go out, have fun, you know, have some storage. This, I think, in all honesty, this is the tailgater truck. If I was to rate it, like I'm going to say that right now, mm -hmm. this early on in the video, this is the perfect tailgating truck. Wow. You can get, you it's got true. power. Mm -hmm. So that means you can run TV, you run radio, it comes with a speaker. You got great storage. You can fit a bunch of, if you get, you get the, the kitchen option, set, yeah. cook out here. Like you can fit all of everything you need. Perfect tailgater truck. It's true. Adventure truck, eh, small family adventure truck, even then. It could be a great outdoors truck. Also has this little feature in here has a built-in air compressor. Ooh. So you can hook up a hose, give you your PSI, which is really cool. That, that is built really in. cool. That is fantastic. Cause how many times have you been out and needed an air compressor? Yes, it's crazy mm, how much Not you once. Need it. Well, you have to go outside <laughs> into the wilderness. <laughs> you would have used it when you had that nail in your car. <clears throat> okay. What? Huh? Wait, new car? I didn't say new, I didn't say new car, I car. <laughs> Great part too is you do have, I believe it's 12 volt? Yeah. 12 Two volt plugs. Two plugs in here. Again, has lighting in it. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Oh, I just didn't even notice that. That's kind of cool. As far as options go, I mean, it is very fantastic. Now, the durability of these items, who knows? Because it's such a brand new truck. It's a new platform, new company. We'll see how things go over. I mean, the Tanu cover, hopefully that continues to work for years to come. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, I, there's a lot of things to be yet to be seen about how well they hold up, durability. I mean, this tonneau cover, a lot of these buttons and switches. I, I mean, but just like the Teslas, I would say this has got a lot of like gimmicky features where it's like, oh, this is cool, this is impressive. Yeah. We'll see how it plays out, but it's still really cool, yeah. especially for a brand new truck. Again, and a new platform, new company. Like this is, this is so new. And true. Sick. It is sick. So before we actually jump into it and go drive it around, we thought it'd be really cool just to kind of cover, not a lot of people know what the interior of this vehicle looks like. And it'd be cool to highlight some of those awesome screens that you see literally right here because it is some of the most gorgeous screens in the game right now. So currently, I think you have to hop in so we can show them the gauge cluster here. Hop in, Todd. Let's, let's hop in We gotta here. shut those doors. I mean, I gotta live my life. Not my real dad. <laughs> You're not okay. my dad. So, got all the doors shut. So this, there's two big screens here. And so, let's see here. How do we get it to switch? Oh, you know what? I do. Ugh. You need this. 
This is kind of weird, I won't lie to you. So this is really, uh, this is one thing, I don't know if they need to fix this or whatever. They show you like, when you want to start the car and leave and actually drive, you need to have this card, and then they tell you, it gives you a push picture. Push on the brake and it'll tell you. Yeah, well I'm pushing on the brake. There we go, see? Press key, and it like shows like there's like a, would be a pocket right here. There's no pocket here. So you literally, we finicked with this yesterday, you have to like slide it right there. It has a little spot for it, and that's how it goes. Mm. Then you take it out, and I'm like, okay, hey, that is stupid, but it works. So you got all these different things on your screen, and to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of embarrassed right now, but I don't know if you can adjust anything on the screen, I'll be honest. <laughs> Is there anything that actually goes on this screen? I definitely thought there was. Okay, there we go. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, well, probably start driving. Yeah, I was gonna say. Do we start driving? Let's go for. Let's just do. Let's go do a little circle here. Let's see if it changes things. Okay, there things. we go. So we added the miles per hour, but you don't have to worry about any of the tack, anything else, right? <laughs> there's really nothing else. <laughs> yeah, there's really nothing else. I'll be honest. Definitely thought it was gonna give us more than that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty simple. It does bring up, let's see if we can get close to cars, if it'll bring up the, uh, see? See, so it brings up like these cool little models of like different vehicles as we're about to run into one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's really cool. You got your map on the left hand side, which is actually a really nice updated, I don't know if it's using Android or Google or whatever, but it is a really nice map. Um, you obviously got your range and you have like what mode you're in, if it's like electric or function, whatever. But to be honest, that's pretty much it on the speedometer, that cluster. Now we'll rotate over to kind of the base screen. I don't know exactly how wide this thing is. It's not tall. I think the Tundra has a 14 inch wide screen, significantly taller, but this is way, this is probably the widest screen I've ever seen. Um, here you're loaded up. Oh, Bob's Nation. Okay, sorry. That's, I don't know how to stop that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was saying some good boss right there. Um, you got your simple stuff. You got your music here. I won't lie to you. The quality on the music, like like the pictures that they give you, are not really high quality. I have my phone connected. You can see some of the albums that pop up. Not super dope. You can log into your Spotify, which is nice. Um, my phone is connected here. Let's go swap over to the stuff you can do in the trucks. You have the different kind of off road. You have the different kind of selections, I guess, for the Rivian, which will also adjust the ride height actually over here. So this goes up to 14 inches at, in the highest setting. So if we go to, I wonder if we go to off road. Let's go off road just for the sake. Oh, 15 inches. One inch off, baby. One inch off. That's, that's a, a lot. That's, that's a big, big amount. That's huge. Yeah, that's big. Huge. So we're going up, and it, it has adjustable, it has a full air suspension and Magnaride. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pretty sure it does. It's like a hydraulic adjustable exactly. Magnaride type suspension. Yeah. yeah. So 15 inches is the highest ride height it'll take us, and we'll slow, we'll go do a little video of it going up and down. Um, pretty dope. I'm not going to go off road. It has a rock crawl mode, which I didn't know existed. There's a drift mode, which would be super sick to try out, but we can, I don't know if we can do it on this model. Um, let's go back to sport mode, we'll lower it, because I know this one is like the lowest. Nine and a half is the lowest setting you can go on, which is kind of dope. I honestly don't feel it's moving. Oh yeah, we are moving. Yeah, I can feel it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're like teetering. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty cool. That is actually re that was sick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna switch over to our access. So this is very similar to the Tesla. You can open and close different things. So if we open the front hood, it's gonna open up right there. See that, perfect. Charge port, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that from here. Uh, you have your, it's called gear tunnel. That storage, the place that Todd popped out of. You can open the left and right gear tunnel. Tonneau cover, all open here. Tailgate can be done here. Fold the mirrors. Pretty much you can do everything from this screen. Which is sweet. The only downside to this that we yeah. realized for a newer tech truck is the only thing you can close from the inside is the hood. The rest, in fact, it labels it gear tunnel and the tailgate you have to manually close uh, yeah. from the outside. Okay, okay. So, can you open downside. the doors? Can you open the doors? To be honest, the I don't doors. think it does. These the, doors? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it does. Yeah, I'm looking on here and I don't see anywhere where you can open the doors. Maybe. Okay, so you can lock it, that's cool. Yeah. And you can turn on the lights from the, yep. in the tailgate. Tailgate, which now, is Now, this is an interesting mode, car wash. So I'm assuming because it's all tech, it's all electronic. Yep. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it basically closes. What it does is it basically just closes, If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but it closes off some of the circuits and it closes off some of the easy accessible places that water can come into. It just closes them off so when you wanna wash the car, you can do that. I wonder uh, if you have to do that when it rains or if it will automatically ooh, adjust that. That way. is a good question. I don't know. Yeah. 
We're gonna have to find out. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's move over to, I don't know who this dude is, but it's he's like- the, He's the gear guard. Oh, he's the gear guard? Okay, cool. He has a name. I didn't know he had a name. Um, and this is where you can get all of your, uh, it captures actually through all the cameras around the car, very similar to other electric vehicles, captures all audio and it captures like video of like what's going on around. So you kind of have like this really cool um, I guess vehicle. 360 camera. Yeah, it's like, yeah, full 360 view of security of your car at all times. And it captures motion, which is really sweet. So we can go back and find this video. And we're, look at that. We're trying to figure out what we're going to say for something. <laughs> 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 trying to plan out our shot right there, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, I guess in a nutshell, to be honest, and it has everything else you really need. Oh, I actually haven't even pulled up the camera. I won't lie to you. One thing, the camera quality could be better. Yeah. That is one thing. pretty I rough for yeah. a brand new vehicle. I would say I've seen some like four, some of the new four trucks, even the Tundras have some bonker screens. See, I don't know if you can, can you adjust that it? It doesn't look like you can. Oh, okay. You, you can play a little it. bit. Yeah. Not, not a whole lot of control, but I'm not going to lie. This looks like GoPro hero three footage. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Like this is like back in the day. And to be honest for a truck that has 108,000 MSRP now. Yeah. That is a little disappointing though. A lot of really cool tech, but to have the cameras, yeah, and maybe that'll get better with time, but that is very disappointing. It for sure will. Yeah, it has to be. It, it's it's the first, this is the launch edition of the first ever actual production electric truck, right? Yeah. Like, there's really nothing like So I imagine it's got to be something that changes, but that has got to change sometime because that is kind of not the best thing in the world. But uh, yeah, you have basic climate controls, heating and cooled seats. Um, yeah, there's really everything up here. Oh, wait. You get a speaker. That was pretty sick. Braden man. actually pulled this one out, which is really cool. We were going through it and he pulled it. Dude, this sucker is like, this is like a good weighted speaker. We're gonna have to try out the audio. We'll go pull it outside and connect it to Bluetooth. But this is pretty rad. It also has like a light on it, apparently. Um, Maybe we gotta turn it on, but we're gonna go, we'll dive into this a little bit. This will be a little tiny little Easter egg. That's really cool. But yeah, this speaker is like, this has got, this is sick. That's this, is dope. this is dope, <laughs> this is dope, that's sick. Well, yeah, that is pretty much everything inside the car. Oh, you do have the new Meridian sound system, which is actually super cool. I think it's the elevation sound system. Um, this thing bops, like this This vehicle is a bop. It which sounds good. It's really cool, because I wonder, I think there's speakers might be in the headrests, but Maybe. there are tweeters up here. And in the rear. And in the rear. Yeah, and they have some in the rear. Got, Subwoofer in the door, and then all, all there the mid range right here. Yep, yeah, right there. It's a bomb. The, I mean, you could tell that they paid attention to the quality and the different details of this because you got metal in right here, yep. and all the seats you have the Rivian insignia right here, which is really cool. And these seats, bro, these are comfy. Fire. Yeah, these seats are comfy. Yeah, these are good, but yeah, very nice seats and little insignia right here, launch edition, just so you know. But yeah, I mean, just lots of really cool little details, but still simple and modern. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Also, how have we lost like 10 miles sitting here? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go use them. No. <laughs> All right, you got so us a thumbs up. Put on the brake and then give it gas. Oh my gosh. Ah, please. <laughs> ah, I hate this. You know what's crazy? <laughs> Three seconds, zero to 60, <laughs> and just as fast back to zero in regen, literally insane. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, she gone. Do you know what's crazy about that video? You, you video. can't hear the little girl in the car going, ah! I bet. It's not even funny. All right, now that Todd's in the car, we can do a launch <laughs> of all of us. Oh gosh. Give it the true, we gotta get everyone's reaction together. Cause again, I'm seriously, what's I mean, crazy is Todd's car, 3.5 zero to 60 stock track hawk, 3.0 seconds flat for the Rivian, 7,000 pound vehicle. That's pretty insane. It's, I guess we better race it. We will race, oh sweet mother rib, oh um, gosh. All right, you ready, Todd? Full on launch. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, I hate that. 
<laughs> oh, that is the worst. Oh, I roller. hate that people see this. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a roller coaster at an amusement park. Really? <laughs> that's what it is, but that's that's about the excitement <sighs> of it. It really oh, is. It's fun for the first initial like five seconds. Oh. Three seconds. Mm -hmm. It is kind of fun though, because you do get that little butterfly yeah. feeling in your stomach. Yeah, you do. That. Real quickly, we want to give a huge shout out to the company sponsoring this video, I Drive Utah Trucks, which is where you can find this Rivian. Thank you so much, I Drive Utah Trucks. They literally have some of the gnarliest, if not the gnarliest collection of custom trucks in the state of Utah. Go check them out. Their link will be in our description down below. I Drive Utah Trucks. Thank you so much. Like I said, this is for sale. So if you are interested, it is going to be expensive. Come check it out. Alrighty, so we just got back from our drive and we had to come together and think about this real quick. We have been literally, we are not a massive YouTube pitch, but we are one Whatever, of the- we are the big- yeah, yeah. <laughs> We are one of few people that have even got to see, let alone drive one of these. It's kind of mind blowing. And again, another huge shout out to iDrive, but seriously, absolutely unreal. A launch edition Rivian, and we have one. We are extremely grateful, absolutely grateful. What do you guys think about the drive? Honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit more comfortable being that it's a newer car, more modern, but it still rides really great for being a 7,000 pound vehicle. I mean, it's fast. The regen is literally insane. So <laughs> yeah. you'll never have to replace your brakes on this stupid thing ever, but that's yeah, great. I, yeah, I think it's a great mid-sized truck. I mean, honestly, it drives pretty well. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. The seats are great. Room's good. I mean, I'm tall, so I'm a little biased on size, but... Mm -hmm. Room in the back seat is a little... A little tight. A little tight, but I mean, let's be honest. With the range on this, you're not getting more than two hours of a drive in it, so by the time you need to hop out again, it's fine. Yeah. So, for overall, the car's great. Overall, mm -hmm. I think it's an amazing truck, for sure. Fantastic. Now, would you pay MSRP or over MSRP? I would pay MSRP. I would not pay with the going prices for them now. Gotcha. Personally, neither. I would not buy this truck. <laughs> ever. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> you said the truck was dope, but you wouldn't buy it? I yeah, it's dope. Like, I can respect it. Thing yeah, this cool, thing is freaking so rad. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm saying I personally would not buy it. From my personal opinion, I would not pay for the money for this truck. In that range, there's so many other vehicles I would personally rather own. Is it worth the money to some people? Yeah. What is else is in this range of electric trucks? Yeah, really. Well, of electric trucks, I mean, the Lightning's coming out. But you already know right it's here. Like... But it will be. Hummer's out. Hummer is out, but Hummer's 300,000. If we're talking electric trucks for the price, it's not bad. But it, again, it's hard to compare because it's really the only one that's touched the market in this capacity. So yes, is it worth the money? I think it's fantastic. Would I buy it? No, I'd rather wait for the Lightning or see what else comes down the road. That's fair enough. That's I'd fair. I'd buy it. Yeah. Well, you, you buy a Jeep, so like I'm surprised you You wouldn't... buy Mustangs. <laughs> Do we do this all day long? <laughs> you have a Ghibli. Whoa! That's a daily driver. That was fantastic. I'm surprised I, I even said the name right. Yeah. You did say it right. I thought I was definitely going to mess it up. Like Ghibli. My personal opinion, I would definitely pick one of these up for, I mean, I wouldn't mind paying a little bit over. I literally, for what I do, I fit everything that this truck does because I don't take it anywhere. Yeah. All I do is drive it on the street. Like I'm a simple That's dude. Awesome. I like new things. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I would pick, I would pick this up. That's honestly 90% of the people that are going to be taking these trucks. Exactly. It's exactly. Be pavement princesses all day. It's like what we said when we did the Bronco review. 99, I wouldn't say 99, but 90% of them are going to stay on the pavement. Mm -hmm. And for what that is, again, this is the tailgater special right here. This is literally perfect for those types of events. Outside, we don't know, we don't have that ability to test it. I would love to take it off-road like, and really put it to the test sometime because it's got Baja mode, rock yeah. crawl mode. Mm -hmm. And I imagine with the low end torque, it'd be oh, crazy. Be great. But um, you know, for what it is, for what we got experience, fantastic truck. Okay, so review. Are right, getting our number, right? We're gonna give it a little dirty pipe rating. Yep. Give it the dirty pipe it's rate. coming in three, two, one. See ya. So starting off our categories for the Rivian R1T, we're gonna start out with comfort. This truck is super comfortable. It's very smooth. It's really heavy for its size. I mean, it's almost 7,000 pounds. Driving it feels so good. Literally the front, back seats, all around, nine out of 10. This vehicle is so comfortable. And honestly, it should've just been a 10. 
But between the three of us, we gave it a nine out of 10. We'll love the comfort value here. Now jumping onto daily driver, no questions asked. This is a 10 out of 10, done deal. It does not cost very much, or actually it doesn't cost anything at all uh, to fill up because it's electric and it is just like all around. It's like smaller, it's like smallest where you can park wherever you want. You have nothing to worry about. All, it just has everything. Like as a daily driver, it has everything you need. It's fast, it's comfortable. It actually looks, it gets a lot of eyes because it looks really weird. Um, yeah, it's a 10 out of 10, done deal. Speaking about fast, um, our uh, performance category, we're giving this sucker a nine out of 10. This sucker can move, literally move. It kind of ruined me to jump back into my own personal car and start driving, and I'm sure it's with Brandon and Todd. Um, our cars are not that fast, and it kind of bums us out, but we gave it a nine out of 10, zero to 60 in like three seconds for an almost 7,000 pound freaking truck. Done deal, nine out of 10. Now we're gonna jump into style next. Now, it is a weird truck, no, no lie. It's odd, it's not the greatest looking thing in the world, but it has like this futuristic style, which I know people aren't ready for. And it could be one of those things in the next like five to 10 years where we're like, wow, the Rivian really set the tone for the vehicles coming out. I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. We gave it a seven out of 10. Now finishing off with practicality, we gave it an eight out of 10. There is so much space or a decent amount of space for storage. The bed is really short. Now I know the new Ford Lightning that's coming out, which we will be reviewing soon, um, has a lot more space in the bed. And so I think that's kind of where we'd like to see the Rivian at, but for what the Rivian is, um, with the space, you know, taking everything into account, we gave an eight out of 10. We thought that was a very fair score. So after adding everything together, and that is a grand total of 43 out of 50, 43 out of 50, that is the highest rated vehicle so far, it's highest rated truck we've had on dirty pipes. I don't know if it's a highest rated vehicle, it's gotta be close to some others, but with trucks, easily highest rated. The Rivian R1T is amazing, despite all the hate it gets because it's a, it's a new brand. Tesla got the same hate, but let's see where Rivian goes. I'm actually really excited. They can keep doing this stuff, they're gonna come out swinging. 43 out of 50, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is, like I said, this is our first video of 2022, so this is freaking awesome. We love you guys, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Pick out.